sometimes people can seem completely irrational. It's like you know there's a thinking, reasoning, sensible person in there somewhere. You know the person you're talking to isn't their best self, but you just can't get to them. Something's in the way. Something's blocking you. What is it? Fear, anger, aggression, emotion. Let's talk about how we manage that emotion. Hey guys, in case you're new here, my name's Hayden Richards. I am an emergency physician, and this is Comslab. On this channel, I share my journey and what I've learned as I strive to develop myself into an effective communicator and an emotionally intelligent leader. If we want to actually change someone's mind about something, we need them to be operating at a very high level cognitively. We need them to be able to think creatively, to consider alternatives to their current position, and to accurately weigh their pros and cons. This requires brain power. Research cited by Sean Acor, author of The Happiness Advantage, tells us that the human brain is 31% more effective when you are in a positive frame of mind. And yet, the typical state of someone in a discussion like this is on the defensive, under threat, fearful, maybe even aggressive. So how do we deal with that? How do we change the valence of some of those emotions from negative to positive? so that we can access their best self. The strategy that I found to be most effective and that is backed up in the evidence from the communication skills literature is to validate their emotions, to show them that those emotions are completely valid, particularly in light of their personal experience. We need to empathize with them. But remember, just feeling empathetic towards someone isn't enough. You need to express that empathy in an explicit way. My favorite acronym for expressing empathy is nurse. Each letter stands for a particular skill. N is for naming the emotion. That must have been really scary for you. And normalizing for the population. I, I can see how most people would respond in the exact same way. U is for understanding the driver. It can't have been easy to be faced with so many mixed messages like that. R is for respect, praise and appreciation. Hey, I really appreciate you letting me know that. It can take a lot of courage to share that kind of stuff, and it, it really helps me understand your position a lot better. S is for supportive statement. I just want to say it's really important to me that we make sure that your needs get met here. And E is for explore. Tell me a bit more about what that was like. Finally, as we know from the academic literature, the most valuable thing that we can do after delivering our empathetic statement is to just stop talking. Let silence do its work and really allow that empathy to land. Hey guys, in case you're interested, I have actually done some deep dives on each of these micro skills with regards to validation and empathy. Um, and I will put them into a playlist and a link somewhere up here. And I'll also put some links down in the description below in case you wanna check those, uh, those deep dive videos out in turn. Um, I've tried to make them pretty entertaining. Um, you get to meet my pets, you get to meet my kids as well. Uh, so hopefully you'll, uh, you'll check them out. Okay, so let's say you've successfully managed to downregulate the emotional brain and gain access to that thinking, reasoning part of the other person's brain. Suddenly a whole world of opportunity opens up to you. But how do you take advantage of that? Well, that's what we'll be talking about in the next video. Thank you for watching and I will see you there.